Thank you very much. Let me recognize the presence of my colleagues, my 20 brothers and sisters who will join me in a fight to secure a better Dominica. Let me recognize all of you, the thousands of Dominicans who have converged here to say to Dominica and the world that you are solid with labor, a progressive government. My dear brothers and sisters, I recall many years ago, while growing up in the village of Vekas, a popular sitcom entitled Norman Is That You? Tonight at the majestic Bayfront in Roseau, I ask the question, Dominica, is that you? When I said five years ago, I wanted to take Dominica to the next level, detractors asked what I meant. The answer has been evolving over time, and tonight is yet another visible manifestation of what I meant by taking Dominica to the next level. This is the type of first world production I was talking about. This is a type of spectacular setting we formerly watched only on TV. I am proud to be the leader of a party that could produce and provide a campaign launch of this magnificence. A campaign launch of such excellence, my dear brothers and sisters. And let me make one thing clear. This campaign is not financed by no uncle or auntie in London, Canada, the United States of America. This campaign has been ably assisted by friends and well-wishers of the Dominica Labour Party worldwide. Because we are a serious political party and we are taken seriously by our allies and associates. We were assisted in the past and we spent the money wisely and with transparency, my dear brothers and sisters. And that is why the same persons who assisted us 10 years ago, assisted us five years ago, and are assisting us in these general elections in Dominica again. They trust us because we can be trusted. This is Dominica Labour Party or its leadership did not receive millions of dollars in campaign contributions last elections and confide it to the pockets and accounts of its leadership. We spent what we were given on the campaign and we are doing the same thing now in 2014. That is why we are trusted, my dear brothers and sisters. That is why I'm aware of every single item in our containers because they are what I ordered and they are what I authorized. Nobody bundled together what they felt like and sent it to Dominica for me to distribute. For us, those colonizing days are gone. The other people will be waiting with bated breath for Monday afternoon to see what is contained in the parcel that arrived on the port on Thursday. The European colonizers said, we gave you money in the past, and a few guys pocketed the money. We are not doing that again. So they said, tell us what you want, and we'll send it to you. That is why the election was called since last Wednesday. And up to now, they don't have a single poster, a single new t-shirt, a single cap to wear or give a supporter because Big Daddy does not trust them with money. I am told they wanted 
one theme for the campaign and Big Daddy insisted on another. So don't be surprised if their theme this year is remarkably similar to the one we used five years ago because that is what Big Daddy decided to put on the paraphernalia. My dear brothers and sisters, we are at the Bayfront in Rosa this evening, standing tall as the only organized and ready political party contesting the December 8th, 2014 general elections. We are the only party that is organized to do so. We are the only party that is in a position to launch the first weekend of the campaign. We are the only party with paraphernalia. We are the only party with song, stage, and a setting of this nature, my dear brothers and sisters. We are the only party ready enough for its leader to be able tonight to showcase four days after the calling of an election of fully printed and readily available 2014 manifesto. That is our manifesto. That is Labour's manifesto of 2014, ladies and gentlemen. That is our manifesto ready to be delivered to you, the people of Dominica. I could, I could put it on the screen and talk about its content tonight, but I'm going to leave it, leave that until Thursday in the Rosa Valley. Thursday we're launching our manifesto in the Rosa Valley. So when I say comrades and friends, that we're ready, I mean we read, 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 ready for the elections of 2014. So I am proud this evening to be carrying campaigning in Dominica to the next level. This is the magnificence that obtains elsewhere. And this is what I insisted I wanted my people of Dominica. Others want to hold Dominica back. I want to take Dominica forward. Dominica shall be taken forward by the leadership of the Dominica Labour Party. My personal vow as leader, when I took over from the late Pierre Charles, was not to leave Dominica as I found it. I wanted to modernize this country. I know tonight Christopher Columbus might be mad with me, but I had to make it impossible for him to find his way to Dominica. Were Christopher Columbus to arrive at the Douglas Charles Airport or the Roseau Ferry Terminal tonight, he would be confused. Were he to drive on the Nicholas Liverpool or E.O. Libla highways, he would be mesmerized. Were he to drop in at the Dominican State College and see so many hundreds of young Dominicans attending the State College, he would be dumbfounded. Were Christopher Columbus to go into the valley and see the emergence of geothermal and the growth of our tourism landscape, he would swear this is not Dominica. That was our goal 12 years ago, ladies and gentlemen. And that is my goal again tonight, to always take Dominica higher and higher and higher. So I am absolutely I have absolutely no apologies for launching a 2020 general election campaign tonight. Because 2020 is where my focus is at tonight, my dear brothers and sisters. If others are comfortable tonight being cramped up in a little hall singing ballads and musical recitations, that is a matter for them. But what you see here tonight is what I felt you were worthy of. It is where I feel Dominica should be headed. And it is where this Dominica Labour Party is taking you tonight.
So I stand in awe of you tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I stand in awe of the 20 previous candidates that were introduced and who presented themselves remarkably well this evening. I am ecstatic to be the leader of the first political party in the Eastern Caribbean to launch a total of four highly high quality women as part of a lineup. As part of a lineup of a mere 21 candidates, just under 20% of candidates on the platform tonight are women, ladies and gentlemen. No other political party in the Eastern Caribbean has achieved that feat. I salute this evening Justina Charles, Afinia Benjamin, Catherine Daniel, and Rosalind Paul. I am proud this evening to have introduced six new candidates and a seventh not so new one in my comrade and brother Ian Pinard. They say they want change. Well, my dear comrades and friends, that is change. Labor is the change, ladies and gentlemen. Seven new faces, including Dr. Martin Christmas, Nichols Shank Esprit, Cassius Daru, the little giant from the Kalnago country, will light up the parliament of Dominica when a new session is convened early in January. I am committed, I am committed this evening to ensuring that all seven are elected to the parliament on December 8th, 2014. I am proud, I am proud this evening to be presenting to you veteran candidates, Ambrose Judge, Julius Timothy, and Reginald Austri. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, these are difficult times. These are challenging times, and I need the experience and knowledge of these three gentlemen in my lineup of parliamentarians. I am proud this evening to have the energy and competence of Ian Douglas, Raven Blackmore, Peter Seja, Kelva Daru, Dr. Kenneth Daru, and Dr. Colin John McIntyre. I need again the steady hand and abiding wisdom of Ivor Stevenson and Johnson Drago. And ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen, I am especially pleading with the voters of the Rosa Central constituency. I am pleading with you tonight to send me Alvin Bernard this time around as a duly elected member of the Parliament of Dominica. So tonight, tonight, comrades and friends, I am happy and humbled. As political leader of the Dominican Labour Party, to say to you that this remarkable family of Labour candidates is red, red, ready for the elections on December 8th, 2014. And we hereby, and we here, and we are hereby reporting for duty. We worked hard and diligently on your behalf over the past five years. We are proud of the phenomenal record of achievements. These are difficult times. These are hard times. But I said from the outset that I would have shielded the taxpayers of this country from burdensome taxes, and we did just that. Look around Dominica today and tell me if what you received as a nation was not proportionately more, much more than what you paid in taxes, fees, and other impositions. I know some of you may not have gotten all that you wanted. I know you wanted a better road leading to your house. But as a government, we had to balance that against 
the need to have a better road leading to our air and seaports. Better roads leading to our major tourism attractions in the valley and in the interior of the country. I am not those, I am not one of those leaders who walk with my head in the air and is not in touch with the people and who do not know what's going on in our country. I know every kilometer of road in this country that needs repairing or building. And I am committed to doing this. But I had to spend the money wisely. And we had to pace ourselves sector by sector. I had to provide for your children at school and at the state college. I had to keep the school bus service running for the little ones. I had to maintain the PMH to a satisfactory standard until the new state-of-the-art hospital is constructed and functional. I had to keep the farmers motivated and endowed in the face of adversity, brought both by external trading factors and natural pests and diseases. We had to help the fishermen upgrade their boats. We had to set aside funds for young entrepreneurs, vendors, taxi operators, and small business people. So if what you wanted done was not accomplished within the last five years, do not blame it on your pal rep. As Minister of Finance, I was responsible. The pal reps asked and lobbied, but I had to feed thousands with a few fish and barley loaves I had at my disposal. Rest assured that we do not have to build the Nicholas Liverpool Highway again. We do not have to upgrade the Douglas Charles Airport soon again. Indeed, we will begin construction on a new international airport in this next term. So many of the things we did previously, we do not have to do them again the next time around. That is why I'm saying here this evening that this term is for those who made the sacrifice and those whose wishes were frustrated as a result of our having to divert funds to other areas of urgency. Some of your power reps wanted to do more, much, much more, as at the individual constituency level. So it is not fair, it is not their fault, rather, that you may not have gotten what you wanted. Blame it on me. The Minister of Finance is the big bad wolf in this instance. But let us also be fair, ladies and gentlemen. Overall, we have done a remarkable, well, a remarkable job as a nation over the past five years. We have done a very good job over the last five years. We are talking about a period in which neighboring Barbados sent home thousands of public officers. We are talking about a period in which neighboring Antigua and Barbuda underwent an excruciating IMF program that saw the introduction of several major taxes, including income tax and even a higher rate of VAT. We are talking about a period when the United States economy stagnated and tourist arrival was down, not only from North America and Europe, but also intra-regionally as well. We had to choose between fixing the road and investing in LIAT to ensure that adequate seats were allotted to Dominica. So let us be fair and reasonable in our assessment of the last five years. Labor performed extraordinarily in the circumstances. And we're here tonight very, very proud of our achievements. We are proud tonight because we are presenting to you a team of competent, experienced, and in touch candidates ready to resume work on January 1st, 2005 as your duly elected government. We are proud tonight because we have in our possession a manifesto 
of well thought out plans and ideas for which funding has been secured. We are not coming to you with any pie in the sky outlandish ideas, ladies and gentlemen. What we say in this campaign, we will do. As Prime Minister and Minister of Finance, I will tell you where I will get the money to do what we have said we will do in the manifesto. Others, others will curtail the National Employment Program and put your young children back on the streets and wasting away at home. We know where we will source the money to support the continuation of the National Employment Program. And I will tell you, I spent my community day of service in Venezuela with the president of Venezuela, who told me, Roosevelt, I am committed to ensuring that the financing for the NEP shall be made available so I can continue here in Dominica. We know how the several new hotels we are building in Dominica will be financed. We know how the new hospital and new international airport will be financed. We know how we'll continue to secure scholarships for your children. And we know how we will maintain the wide array of social services for the needy, elderly, and vulnerable groups in the society. The monthly stipend we just gave to the elderly will be maintained by a re-elected Dominica Labour Party government. So understand, ladies and gentlemen, there is only one serious political party in these general elections, and that party is the Dominica Labour Party. Here is a man wanting to be Prime Minister of Dominica, and after a full year of leading his party, could not raise a single dollar from well-wishers at home or abroad. He claims he had to turn to his old auntie and uncle to send money for him to buy a few things for his campaign. Well, if he doesn't have, well, if he doesn't have the regional and international contacts and connections to finance his party's campaign, how will he raise money to maintain the whole of Dominica and his 72,000 people living in this country? My friends, understand this. It is not Dominica that goes to raise money and attract grants and concessionary financing for this country. It is the Prime Minister and Minister of Finance who has to go out to negotiate on behalf of the country. And if you do not have the contacts, there's nobody you can go to for help for Dominica. So let us understand this. They admit that after a year, not a single potential investor was willing to invest in the campaign and their victory. Yet, they would want you to believe that they have investors out there willing to come and invest hundreds of millions of dollars in Dominica. What utter madness the opposition is talking. If people believe in you as a leader, they will help you to win your elections and then they will help you to succeed as a government. But only his auntie and uncle have faith in him as a leader. That is why, from his own mouth, they are the only ones who have pumped serious money into his campaign. The question I'm asking tonight is what are they expecting in return? What has he promised to give them and do for them? They love Dominica so much that they left this country many years ago and never returned to invest a cent in Dominica. But suddenly, they are willing to invest hundreds of thousands of dollars in Dominica, merely for love of Lennox Linton and this country. Ladies and gentlemen, that does not make sense to me, and I'm sure it doesn't make sense to you. So comrades and friends, 
This evening is growing old. And I want you to enjoy the entertainment package we have provided for you. They wailed when they heard Barry Hammond was coming to Dominica to be part of his labor lunch. But what they did not tell you is that all Wednesday evening, after I made the announcement, they were on the phone to Destra's management in Trinidad, begging her to come to Dominica this weekend on the platform. But Destra is a woman of integrity. Destra doesn't hang out with losers. Destra does not grab at the highest dollar. They waited until Wednesday to contact Destra. Your Dominican Labour Party, with vision and foresight, contacted Destra long before Wednesday, long before last Wednesday. And I am pleased, I am pleased to announce tonight that Destra will be coming to Dominica, but she'll be coming with the Dominica Labour Party. Tonight, tonight in Rosa, we have the undisputed Caribbean king of entertainment, Barry Hammond. Later in this campaign, we shall have the undisputed queen of Caribbean entertainment, Destra Garcia in Dominica as well. Send your massive, send your massive, keep your ears open. Destra is coming to send you, not to. Destra is coming to St. Joseph in a not too distant future. This is a party, this is a party that is organized. This is a party that is prepared. This is a serious political party, ladies and gentlemen. So I am proud tonight of my party. I am proud tonight of my candidates. I am proud tonight of my campaign management team and all the technical people who made this production possible. They are not colonizers from Switzerland. They are our own Caribbean brothers and sisters from Dominica, from Antigua, from St. Kitts, from Trinidad and Tobago, and of course, from Barbados. I thank them all for being part of this historic evening at the Bayfront in Roseau. Voters, of Dominica, voters of Dominica, you hold the keys to the future of this country in your hands. You hold the keys of the future of your children in your hands. Go out and lobby your friends, family, and neighbors for voting support. We want every single vote in every single village, in every constituency in Dominica. This is the only serious political party in this campaign, and it is the Dominica Labour Party. American, get on board, ladies and gentlemen, and join the victory train. We need to win this election for Dominica. We need to win this election for Dominica. We need to keep the predators at bay. So comrades and friends, ladies and gentlemen, American gospel icon, Tasha Cobbs has arrived in Dominica. She's resting comfortably at a hotel and will minister to us in song tomorrow afternoon at Castle Bruce. Come out in your numbers tomorrow in Castle Bruce and be blessed because we all need Blessings, ladies and gentlemen. And we will accept the blessings from Tasha Cobbs as she ministered to us in song. Let us break all the chains. All the chains will be broken. All the chains will be broken as we move 
our onward march to victory, victory for the Dominica Labour Party and victory for Dominica. I want to thank you. I want to thank you for making this the largest political event in the history of Dominica. My dear friends, my dear Dominicans, my heart is blessed. And I want to thank God and thank you for the tremendous support that you continue to provide to me. I want to thank you very much. I want to thank you, Dominica. Now, enough of the talking. Let's get the party started. I need, I need to get this jacket off, get this tie off, and time to boogie. We are going from here straight to Cassie Bruce tomorrow. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. May God bless you. May God bless your family. May God bless our country. Always, 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 always stay. Stay on the side of the law. Stay away from any instance of provocation. When they chastise you, walk away. Let us not get into any trouble with anybody. They are desperate and they will do desperate things. Labor is a party of love. Labor is a party of compassion. Labor is a caring party. And let us always be on the safe side. Thank you very much and may God bless you. May God bless you. May God bless your families. I thank you. Labour! 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 Labour, ladies and gentlemen, the 21 candidates of the Dominican Labour Party for the 2014 Victory Rally! Ladies and gentlemen, on December 8th, 2014, 20 seats for the Dominican Labour Party, 21 seats. Put your hands together, make some noise. Because we love Dominican.